Hello, my name is Sister Saavedra. I'm a technical marketing manager at GitLab. In this segment of the presentation, I'm going to be covering a new capability called automatic rollback in case of failure. This was introduced in GitLab 13.7. It's basically the automatic rollback in case a critical alert is detected. So this is done by the GitLab platform. And what gets rolled back is the most recent successful deployment. It's selected and redeployed. So why does it matter for customers and prospects? Uh, this capability allows uh, SREs and operators uh, to set up critical alerts in production so that when uh, those alerts are triggered in a problematic deployment, uh, let's say is a threshold for the amount of memory that your application is using, GitLab will roll it back to the most recent successful deployment. Uh, this automation eases the described workflow above uh, for SREs and operators. It also serves like a second line of defense for code updates that pass uh, CI tests and are deployed to production. Here are some resources uh, to learn more about this specific capability. There's a link for the documentation and issue, and I will paste a link to the demo once it's ready. Some things to follow. There is a link to the progressive delivery direction that uh, talks about where we're heading with these type uh, of capabilities, and also the post-deployment monitoring epic that uh, contains a list of all the related uh, work items that are within progressive delivery and include this capability and capabilities like this one too. Things to keep in mind, uh, the rollback uh, is skipped if a deployment is running when the alert is detected, and also a rollback can happen only once in three minutes. If there are multiple alerts detected uh, at once, only one rollback is performed. Okay, now let's move on to the demo. So here you see a project called Pro Manager Spring, and I'm logged on as Devon. He is a DevOps engineer. And um, first thing to, we need to do is we need to enable automatic deployment rollbacks. So as you can see here, it's already enabled. And what this will do is if there's a, a critical alert uh, triggered um, the uh, rollback um, there will be an automatic rollback done by uh, by the platform to the last successful deployment so that's already set well one thing I, one more thing I want to show you is what I'm going to be deploying um, by starting this uh, pipeline in a minute it introduces some changes and the changes are here in the index HTML file. The headings of the table are all in capital letters. And there's also a misspelling here. So those will be the changes that are in, those are the changes in master and the ones that I will be pushing by creating a, or running a new pipeline. So we go here. And as you can see, there's been uh, two successful uh, deployments earlier today. Uh, please ignore these cancel once I started them by accident. And now we're going to run a pipeline. And while that's running, let's go to the operations environment, actually metrics. And create an alert. So let's create an alert here. Uh, let's make sure that uh, this is the total memory usage. And let's make sure to create an alert that will be triggered. So let's make, uh, let's see, the average is 2.61. So, and right now it's 2.45. So let's make it two. Um, so two right there. Okay, so it detected that it's below the threshold. So uh, it should fire an alert. hasn't fired yet let's see okay so the pipeline is running okay so now that the pipeline has completed uh, the deployment has taken place and let's see if the alerts has come in 
Yeah, there's a critical alert that already happened a few minutes ago. So let's see if that triggered a, um, a new deployment. So let's go to environments. Um, now notice here that the job that was executed is actually not the job in the pipeline. So if you look at the pipeline, let's go to the pipeline. So the pipeline that executed here, seven minutes ago, it finished. It has an automatic uh, deployment to production. This is not a manual step, okay? Now, what I would like you to notice here is that this was updated eight minutes ago, right? So it was um, updated after this pipeline completed, which means that the, the critical alert triggered an automatic uh, rollback and also notice that the job is a job that does not belong to the pipeline that we just ran right this is in fact let's go there and this job is actually a job of the last successful uh, the last successful pipeline so the automatic rollback has taken place Yeah, so the latest successful deployment included um, the edit and the new product are have a purple background. But if you notice the titles do not have, uh, they are not in capital letters like we uh, we saw earlier, which is what we pushed in the, in the pipeline that actually was automatically rolled back. That's all I have. Thank you very much.